Now, the whole point of a buffer solution is that it resists changes when you add small amounts of acid or alkali. And what we're going to do in this video is work out uh, how much the pH will change when you add a certain small amount of acid or alkali. Okay, so we need to always, when we're working out doing our buffer calculations, it's always a good idea to rearrange our Ka expression into this form. So we get the uh, hydrogen ion concentration is equal to um, Ka times by the ratio of HA to A minus. Right, so, and we have to remember that you have a, in a buffer solution, you have lots of HA and you have lots of A minus. So here is my beaker with buffer solution in it. Lots of molecules of HA, lots of A minus. Now we need to think what will happen if you add a bit of acid or alkali, okay? So let's say add, we're gonna add H plus. And here we're going to add a bit of alkali. Okay, think about the acid first. Which of these species, HA or A minus, is acid going to react with, H plus going to react with? Well, it's going to react with A minus. And it's going to turn that A minus into HA. So the approach we're going to use is we're going to put down. We're going to have like here start moles. We're going to have final moles and final conch. That's what we're going to do. Okay. And the concentration we're just going to divide by V as usual. Um, so when we add a bit of acid, what's going to happen is this one is going to go down a bit and this is one is going to go up a bit. So this ratio is going to change a little bit which will change the hydrogen ion concentration, but not by too much. That's what we're going to, that's what's going to happen there. Now with the alkali, um, which, which species do the alkali react with? Well, it doesn't react with A minus, it's going to react with HA. And you probably notice this is very similar to when you were making the, doing a buffer calculation, the, you know, which I call the hard type, when you add sodium hydroxide to the acid. Um, you've seen the previous videos so that is going to form it's going to take an H plus off the HA and turn it into water and then we're going to do the same approach there we're going to do start moles final moles and final conch um, and so we are going to have a sort of a slight you know if you add our H minus that one's going to go down that's going to go up the ratio is going to change a little bit. Okay, so let's do a question on that then. Right, which I've got down here somewhere. There it is, in green. Right, a buffer solution of volume 500 centimeters cubed. Now, I think they tell us that, but I don't you even need to know that, okay? Contains, right, this many moles of ethanoic acid, so that's HA. And this many moles of sodium ethanoate. First of all, we'll just calculate the pH. So let's, cal let's calculate the pH of the buffer solution. That's pretty easy. So we're going to do um, H plus is equal to Ka HA over A minus concentration of. Now, we've got what is the concentration of HA? It's 0 0.381 moles, right? That is, well, it's moles over volume, sorry. We know how many moles we've got. We've got 0 0.381. Let's call the volume V because we, um, <coughs> we'll call the volume V because we, they'll cancel out. We could put in for, you know, 500, but it just saves time. We don't need to do that. The volumes will always cancel out. So, and the same for A minus. A minus is going to be the concentration of that. Well, we've got 0.27 moles of that. Uh, and we're going to divide that by B. So let's put those numbers in, work out the, work out the pH. Right, H plus conch is equal to 
1.74 times 10 to the minus 4 multiplied by 0 0.381 over V over 0 0.27 over V. Remember I said that this ratio is always about 1, isn't it? So let's just let's work it out, the ratio, and write that down. An intermediate working out. 1.74 times 10 to the minus 4. That value is 0 0.381 divided by 0 0.27 is 1.41. Okay, so it is about 1, so that's what, that's all looks good. And times by the Ka. 2.45 times 10 to the minus 5. Take the negative log of that to get the pH. pH is equal to 4.61 to 2 dp. 4.61. Right, I'm going to write that answer down there. Okay, so that is 4.61 is the answer. And now we're going to move on to B. We're going to see what happens when you add a bit of hydrochloric acid to it. Now, just as a common sense check, when you add a bit of HCl to that, the pH is going to go down a bit. So the answer is going to be lower than 4.61. Another common sense check, it's a buffer, so it should be a bit lower, but it shouldn't be a lot lower, okay? Because they do resist changes in pH. <laughs> right. So make a bit of room here. Now, we said before... Uh, sorry, we said before that um, if you add acid to a buffer, so H+, plus, you're going to get the H+, plus is going to react with the A-, minus, and it's going to turn it into HA. So we're going to do the start moles, final moles, and final conch. Okay, so let's do the moles of H plus first. Moles H plus. Right, we're adding HCl, so one mole of um, one mole of HCl is one one mole of H plus. So that's going to be conch times volume. So it's going to be the concentration is one multiplied by 0 0.015. That's the volume of dm cubed. 0 0.015 is the answer. So put in there. 0 0.015 uh, a minus we'll do the moles that well we said we know that from the previous one look it is um controls of them like 0.27 and the moles of ha that's 0.381 so one mole of HA is going to react with one mole of A minus, so that's going to go down by that much. So that's going to be 0.27 um, minus 0.015. Let's do that. That's 0.255 and this one is going to go up by that much so we're going to add 1.5 to that so that takes it to 0.396 um, moles of that. The concentrations we just divide, oh that, that's all gone, yeah. divide by the volumes, put them into our usual equation which is H plus is equal to Ka HA over A minus. So that's going to be equal to 1.74 times 10 to the minus 4. Let's work out this ratio as usual. So it's going to be 0 0.396 over 0 0.255. That's equal to 1.74 times 10 to the minus 5. That should be there. Right, that ratio now is 0 0.396 divided by 0 0.255. So it's changed a bit from last time. It's 1.55. Yeah. 
So multiply that by Ka. That's 2.702 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed with a concentration of HA. So minus log it. One second. Is. So take a negative log of it. Sorry about that, just have to let the dog in. Um, the negative log of that is 4.57. pH is equal to 4.57. Right, let's look at the number we said. So 4.57 has gone down from 4.61. And it's gone down by a very small amount, but it has gone down because you're making it slightly more acidic. So that, that looks fine. Okay. Now let's do the final part when we're going to add some alkali. So we clear this up. Okay. So when we had alkali, we said uh, what's going to react with it? Is it the A minus or the HA? It's the HA, isn't it? So... We're going to start off with HA. Uh, react that with OH minus. And it's going to pull a proton off that, turn it into A minus and water. So we need to put down our start moles, our final moles, our final concentration. So HA, we're starting off with point. 0.381 uh, a minus we're starting off with 0.27 so it's very similar to uh, the hard buffer type calculations but usually we start off with zero a minus there we've got a little bit of a minus to start off with so just do our moles of um of na of uh, naoh moles of naoh which is of course the same as the moles of oh minus is going to be the concentration times by the volume the concentration is uh, 1.2 moles per decimeter cubed and the volume is 0 0.01 so that is equal to uh, 0 0.012 that's how much we're adding okay so 0 0.012 now that means this is going to go down this number is going to go down by 0 0.012 So that is going to go down to 0.369. That goes to zero. The amount of A minus is going to go up by that much. So that's, oops, so that goes to, that's going to go up by that much. So that's going to go to um, 0.282. Uh, the final conch or 369 over V. 0.282 over V, and then we put it into our usual buffer equation. So our buffer equation, H plus is equal to Ka, HA over A minus. 1.74 times 10 to the minus 5 is the Ka, HA is 0.369 over V. And that's 0.282 over V. These cancel out. That number's about one. I won't work it out this time. I won't write down the intermediate answer. I mean, 0.282. Right. Um, So the hydrogen ion concentration is 2.27 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed. We need to minus log it to get the pH. The pH is 4.64. 4.64. Now a quick, quick common 4.64. Quick common sense check. Here's the original pH, 4.61 here. 
add a bit of alkali to that, it's going to go up. And it has gone up, so that's good. And it's gone up a little bit, not much, because this is a buffer solution and it resists changes to pH. Uh, incidentally, you could work out if you added how much, if you added um, that much HCl uh, to 15 centimeters cubed of HCl, instead of adding it to 500 centimeters cubed of buffer, you add it to water, the pH would go right down to really low to work it out. If you added NaOH to that amount of water, the pH would shoot up, it would be really high. So it shows you that this does buffer the pH. It does stop the pH from changing. 